Hey, welcome to this radio video and we're going to talk today about the 20 meter amateur radio band. That's the uh, radio band for amateur radio that is on uh, 14 megahertz. Um, it's probably the most popular amateur radio band and it goes from 14 Point zero 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 to fourteen point three five zero megahertz, and it is a very very nice band. Um, in Europe, Africa, Middle East, and Northern Asia, in um, the Americas, and in the Asia Pacific region. The band is open everywhere in the world from 14 to 14.350, but it has slight variations of where signals are in general. So technically, from 14 to 14 dot uh, zero, seven zero, it's mostly CW signals, mostly. So starting at 14 megahertz. It's a little dead right now because we're in the middle of a geomagnetic storm and signals aren't very good today at this time. Starting 14.070, it is digital modes, so you can switch to USB and check for digital modes. Uh, usually JT65, 14.076. There's also some BPSK31 around 14070. 14080 to 14100 is a lot of uh, RTTY, radio teletype. <coughs> and basically, <coughs> sorry, on 14.100, there's one uh, interesting feature on the 20 meter band. There's a series of beacons that actually alternate every 20 seconds from around the world. So if you uh, put your radio on CW mode on 154.100, you uh, will often hear different beacons from around the world. And it's interesting because it lets you know basically from where in the world propagation is actually coming. And uh, it's very interesting. Uh, if you search on uh, Google for 14.100, beacon you will find the list of beacons with their times and it's uh, different beacons that alternate alternate uh, through the throughout the clock for 24 hours a day and every 20 seconds is a new beacon from a different part of the world and they are very low power so uh, often you don't hear that many you'll hear one or two or three uh, when propagation is really good you might hear more and uh, it gives an idea of where in the world propagation comes in on 20 meters. It's a very interesting service. And above 14100, uh, up to 14350 generally, it's uh, upper sideband signals. As you see the band is quite dead right now but it doesn't show the reality this band is usually full of signals one little spot for those that don't have single sideband 14 around 14 to 90 uh, often there are AMers stations that broadcast uh, amateur stations that love AM mode so you can try it out there when propagation works so here it seems dead at this time and it's really really not a good interpretation. This band is usually full of signals. Uh, but we are in the middle of a geomagnetic storm. Uh, I noticed a little earlier I was checking the uh, K index is at 5 which is I. Meaning that we are uh, having some uh, shortwave problems on uh, some frequencies with that. Uh, what are the characteristics of the 20 meter band? Well, in winter, 
Uh, usually it's mostly a daytime band. Uh, will start propagating to the east of your location about an hour or an hour and a half before sunrise and uh, will propagate throughout the day and become um, more of a, a westerly direction signals um, up to sunset around sunset and about an hour an hour and a half after sunset but in summer with the long days it is mostly a 24-hour band basically in the summer you'll hear signals throughout the night and here is uh, an example is on the pole for example here the North Pole starting in um, you know late March and throughout summer the North Pole gets constant uh, solar radiation because basically the North Pole gets six months of daylight and that keeps a uh, layer of ionization open for that frequency. So often signals from Europe and Asia are going to come in throughout the night because they will skip over the pole up to North America. And that's why propagation often works 24 hours a day in summer and especially when the solar activity is high. It's one of the best bands for easy DX of different countries in the world. Um, I've probably heard amateur radio stations from pretty much everywhere on this band. I've heard uh, Australia, I've heard Pacific uh, region amateur stations, a lot of Europeans, a lot of uh, North American, South American stations. Um, some African stations when there are amateur radios from uh, stations from Africa. It is one of the great bands to tune around so um, if you have a single sideband capable radio even if you have only a little telescopic antenna uh, you know tune around you'll hear signals that's almost for sure except like now when we have this uh, geomagnetic storms which uh, often affects the signals that we're hearing. So the 20 meter amateur radio band, probably the most popular amateur band of all um, and a great great place to uh, listen to stations from around the world. Hope you enjoyed the video 73.